we step into fight number eight, Joshua Dillon. Fighting out of Team Halo versus Jamar Whitehead from Team Octopus. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the amateur portion of our fight card. It is time for professional fight action here at NFC 132. Fight number nine, going into the blue corner, Joshua Dillon. Joshua Dillon fighting all the way from California. Said the opportunity was here to fight against Jamar Whitehead, and he was going to take it. Hence the walkout song. Little Uriah Faber action here. Joshua coming in. This is his sixth mixolarge fight. Yeah, and as, uh, as Judge Will Fisher has pointed out, so far the the blue corner tonight is 0 for 7. So Josh Dillon seeing if he can break the curse. Traveled a long way to be here this evening. At least he didn't walk out until I collapsed. That would have just been a big problems there. He wanted to give a special shout out to his girlfriend for bearing with him through this weight cut. He walks around about 150 pounds. Didn't have any problem making this. And his opponent making his way into the red corner. Jamar Whitehead. So as you hear loud crowd war, we have a hometown favorite in Jamar Whitehead who is 7-1 as an amateur champion. Many kickboxing fights as well. Like I said, his last uh, MMA fight, he won by body kick in 31 seconds and I said in December that he should go pro and here he is making his professional debut against a 1-0 undefeated fighter in Joshua Dillon. This should be fireworks. Yeah, there's a reason Jamar is, is so popular here in Atlanta. Not only a very nice guy, but a very fun fighter to watch. He is lightning quick, uh, enters and exits the pocket incredibly quick, deceptively fast. Remember the, the did he train with Jamar a couple of years ago? This is this was years ago. He's gotten worlds better since then, but just walking away thinking, wow, this kid is incredibly fast. Very hard to hit. He'll walk into the pocket, tag you, and then he's gone. He's got Guy Curry in his corner. I do know that um, Jamar has been training a little bit out of American team, top team Team Lima as well as Team Octopus. Getting a, a lot of work in with guys like Cody Derna, as you see. Uh, in his corner so he's getting work in with some of the best around Atlanta and as always pacing back and forth is Jamar yeah hard worker and a very active fighter all right ladies and gentlemen three five minute rounds professional mixed martial arts action introducing first fighting out of the blue corner 29 years old, standing 5 feet 7 inches tall. He weighed in at 136 pounds. With one victory, no defeats, he represents Team Halo from Fresno, California, Joshua Dillon. And his opponent, fighting on the red corner. 22 years old, standing 5 feet 7 inches tall. He weighed in at 136 pounds. After a stellar amateur career, tonight he makes his professional debut from Team Octopus and Team ATT from Hollywood, Florida, Jamal, the rock star, Whitehead. Referee in charge is Jordan Allen. There we go. So you see very different approaches from these two fighters. Almost Jamar. thought it was a 2-1-1 there. His coach was in there the whole time with him. Yeah, Jamar opting to not touch gloves here, and I think he's going to come out a ball of fire. So here we go. Joshua Dillon looking to spoil the hometown pro debut of Jamar Whitehead. It's a clank shins early and off. You'll notice now we're in pro fights, no shin guards. And, yes, there are absolutely strikes to a grounded opponent. Elbows. So we also move into five-minute rounds. 
So some guys thrive in this environment where they come to the opponent's hometown. We'll see if this is where Joshua wants to be. To get the upset. So he shoots for that Superman punch. These guys talking to each other. You see it here at a pro level, how much more comfortable these athletes are in the cage as they've had that experience much more relaxed. Yeah, they do know that they have five minutes to work here, so it's a little bit less of a... Oh, left hand! As he looks to finish, he might be out. Trip. 50 seconds. Jamar yeah. chucks his mouth guard as it lands. What? That's an expensive mouth guard. He's going to want that back. Yeah, he's going to have to get that. The rock star. Jamar Whitehead with the first round TKO. A great counter as Josh entered the pocket. And that's all it took. What a left hand right down the middle. He is quick. Yeah, as we said in the buildup, he is lightning fast. Uh, you know, just that quick counter, and that was all it took. He makes short work of Josh Dillon. And he did not waste that. As soon as he dropped, he jumped on top of Joshua Dillon as fast as he could and threw. There it is, left hand, drops him on the replay. Yeah, and you see Josh Dillon, he's, he initially is okay. He's cognizant, he knows what's going on. He goes to look what covers up. But Jamar wasted no time, and you're about to see a succession of right hands unanswered. Right in front of NFC President David Oblas. And a good stoppage to get in there before he could take unnecessary damage. You know, a frustrating way, you know, guys are typically going to feel like it shouldn't have been stopped, but that was absolutely the right, right call to let Josh do and live to fight another day. And just an incredible victory. Less than 30 seconds in from Jamar Whitehead. You see Josh Dillon protesting the stoppage, but again, George Allen, a veteran of this game, absolutely making the right call. You can't take unanswered shots to the head like that. What a debut by Jamar Whitehead as he improves to 1-0. About as impressive of a pro debut as you could ask for. Jamar Whitehead celebrates with his trope of fans he's brought out here. We're gonna get a word with, uh, with the victor here. Victorious words from the now 1-0 Jamar Whitehead. Still hype. Still running around. It's awesome. The highest of highs and lowest of lows this sport brings you. 
got to be happy for a guy like that to win his pro debut.